Hey folks, in this video we're going to talk about how to set up conversion tracking using Google Analytics. A lot of small business owners don't track their conversions, i.e. they spend a lot of money on different sources, offline, online, advertising, direct mail, Google Ads, they write content and blog, um, you know, doing inbound marketing. But at the end of the day, what matters for small business owners and online entrepreneurs is where are the leads coming from? Where are the opt-ins and product sales and new customers coming through the door coming from? So the first step in doing that is using your WordPress site and Google Analytics to track that. So if you look at the bottom of the funnel here, everything, every vehicle you use to reach your customers ends at a conversion. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to use simple tools um, regardless of what kind of web forms you use on your website to set up conversions. So think about this. The easiest way to do it is no matter what kind of form solution you have, there's tons of different web forms that work with WordPress. You could have something super all-in-one and inclusive like Infusionsoft or Office Autopilot. You could be using Aweber or MailChimp. All of these form solutions allow you to do the same thing or you could have a very simple form like uh, formidable for WordPress. So what we want to do is we want to create, I'm on a, uh, a sample site, Echo Performance Builders here. I'm going to say my name is Aaron. My phone number is yada yada yada. My email is I'm going to say test test message and 9 minus hopefully 1 equals 8. So watch what happens. When I submit this form, I want to land on a thank you page. What this page says is you know, up to you. It doesn't really matter. But if you look at the URL here, if you look right here where my mouse is, it's echoperformancebuilders.com slash thank dash you. So thank you. You want to have a, a URL that you dump your forms off to. So whether you're using the... Um, even if, if you have Aweber, let's look at Aweber for example. So here is an Aweber form. Um, let me go back to the web form. So if you go to web forms on Aweber, it brings up the forms that you have. It's really easy to create a form for your website. But if you go to step two, it asks you where you would like to, to drop your visitors off at. Okay, and We want to say at a custom page and we want to use that thank you page. If you're using a different form solution inside of your uh, let's go here and look at this website so let's go to the WordPress dashboard and let's look at their form solution so if I go to formidable forms and I can see that they have a form to give an estimate for you know these guys do green um, energy efficient construction and and uh, home services so if I go to this form and I go to edit this form I want to look at the settings for the form and I can see again it allows me to dump people off at a thank you page after someone completes the form send them to this page and by the way in WordPress all you need to do is go create a page so we go to pages create a new page and create a page that says thank you um, any way you want to do that URL um, I could show you if I say thank should be able to search those pages and you'll see all you have to do is go create a thank you page so if I go edit this you can see that I can control the slug or the URL boom dash thank you now make sure you use the forward slashes and, and hyphens it, take these literally so bottom line no matter what kind of form you use you set it up to dump the visitor off at a thank you page which you've created in WordPress okay now all you need to do is go to Google Analytics and sign in and set up what's called a goal so a goal is let me, let's make this a little bit more user-friendly here a goal is just that it's somebody accomplishing what you want them to do when they come to the site so if you have a list uh, and you're trying to get opt-ins that might be one goal if you're doing sales for e-commerce sites you set those sales up as, as goals but for local businesses or small businesses you're either gonna go for an opt-in or a, a web lead filled out so what you want to do is if you go to your analytics dashboard, click on admin, okay, you will see that I have the option once I go into that web property to set goals. Okay. All I got all I have to do is create a new goal. 
Okay, so I created one for this one called Web Leads, but you can I can go to if I wanted to I can go to Goal Two and name it and do it. But let's go back to the one I already created to show you. I created one called Web Leads, and it gives you the option obviously to have it active, and the goal type could be should be URL destination. You could set up other goals like if somebody hangs out on your site for a certain amount of time, and that could be a goal for user engagement or same with pages per visit but we want to talk about the a conversion goal somebody actually filling out a form raising their hand and doing a conversion so what you do is use the tail slug for that thank you page so for echo performance builders you remember that it was slash thank hyphen you use the exact slug do not put your whole domain in there and there are instructions right here in analytics for you you can put a goal value in place and not to get too um, too far down the road into metrics here but you know what's important is that if you think about it say you are let's say you're a plastic surgeon say let's just say you know let's say you're a LASIK surgeon and the average customer spends eighteen hundred dollars with you okay and out of all the qualified leads you get you close ten percent of those so for every ten leads you get one eighteen hundred dollar sale well that means your average qualified lead is worth about hundred and eighty dollars okay it's simple math and you should know those kind of numbers you should be paying attention that's a different video and article altogether but for now let's just focus on the goals but for this business and always be conservative let's, let's just say a goal is worth 40 bucks so now when you save this goal what you've done is tied those website conversions at least via web forms we will talk about phone numbers in a different video as a goal and in the next video, we're gonna we're gonna show you the dashboard that pulls all this together. But this video is all about setting up goals and analytics. Hopefully, it's those three simple steps: having a web form in place that tracks those opt-ins or leads, dumping those users off onto a thank you page, and then using that thank you page as a goal and analytics, and just a sneak uh, peek at what you can do there. So I'm gonna go back here. That's really cool. Is you can set up a dashboard that tracks all this stuff. So when once you have those goals in place, you can use a dashboard to track what percentage of your visitors are converting, where they're coming from, which websites they came from, where they're located, all kinds of cool stuff. And if you wanna jump ahead and do this and you set up these goals, just go to geekfreemarketing.com forward slash Google hyphen analytics hyphen dashboard, and that will automatically pull this up and you can do a one-click dashboard install but for now go set up those goals start tracking your leads and then drive more traffic through your website through your funnel and track your goals thanks have a good day